gravitational force. Let's look at another example. A man standing on the surface of Earth. Every object on the surface of the Earth is pulled by a force towards the center of the Earth. This force is called the gravitational force or force of gravity. According to Newton's third law, when the Earth pulls the man towards it, a reaction force will be produced of same magnitude but acting in the opposite direction, pulling the Earth towards the man. Finally, it ends up that the Earth pulls the man, the man pulls the Earth. This is what the Newton's third law is about. For every force acting on an object, there is a reaction force of the same magnitude but acts in the opposite direction. Normal contact force. In previous slides, we have discussed examples of Newton's third law for magnetic force and gravitational force. Before we end this lesson, let's have a look at two more types of force that you may encounter in SPM physics: the normal contact force and the tension. A normal contact force is a force exerted on a surface. It is also called a normal reaction. For example, in the diagram, the man is pushing a wall. The force that he exerts on the surface of the wall is called the normal contact force. According to Newton's third law of motion, the wall will also exert a normal contact force on the hand of the man of same magnitude but in the opposite direction. A normal contact force is always at right angle to the plane, independent from the directions of the force. For example. If the force is perpendicular to the plane, the normal contact force is at right angle to the plane. If the force is not perpendicular to the plane, the normal contact force will still at right angle to the plane. Tension. Let's say a spring balance is tied to two strings. The two strings are pulled by two forces in opposite direction. The reading recorded on the spring balance is called the tension of the spring. Tension is a pull exerted on an object. It always acts in the directions to pull an object away. For example, if an object is hung on a thread which is attached to a ceiling, the weight of the object will exert a pull on the thread. According to Newton's third law, this will produce a force of same magnitude but acts in the opposite direction, pulling the object upward. This force is called the tension of the thread. Tension can act in both direction. For example, a student pulls a string with his hand and hence produces a tension in the string. For his right hand, he will find that the tension of the string pulls to the left, whereas for his left hand, he will find that the tension pulls to the right. The directions of tension depends on which object it is pulling. For the right hand, it is pulling to the left. For the left hand, it is pulling to the right.